welcome back to Nerd Labs. In today's video, I'm going to be building a Vandegraaff Generator. A Vandegraaff Generator is a device that uses a moving belt to generate huge amounts of static electricity and make miniature lightning bolts. A Van der Graaff generator uses a spinning belt to carry a charge picked up from a metal brush at the bottom of a long tube to another brush at the top, where the charge is distributed onto a metal sphere. It's a simple machine, but can generate hundreds of thousands of volts of static electricity. Here's the one I built. It- OUCH! Ugh. Step one is to cut a four foot long piece of six inch PVC pipe. This will serve as the frame for our Van der Graaff generator. The bottom roller is made from a one and a half inch long piece of one inch PVC pipe. I cut two plywood discs that fit inside the ends of the PVC roller. These are hot glued in place. I drilled two holes in the large PVC frame. This metal rod is suspended between the holes. A screw holds the roller onto this rod. And, this, and now this electric drill can spin the roller incredibly fast. These large holes in the other end of the PVC frame will hold the, the top roller, which is stationary. The top roller is cut from the same 1 inch PVC pipe as the bottom roller, but it's a little longer. This allows it to be mounted tightly in place in the holes on the top, forming a, thus forming a stationary roller. It's time to tackle the belt next, and this is made from nylon pantyhose. I cut this into strips, and then sewed it as sewed them together to create a four foot long belt. I stretch this belt between the two rollers, and it, I think it's going to work perfectly. The charge pickup brushes are made from this brass mesh material. I cut two small pieces out of this brass mesh and then removed some of the, a few of the crossbar wires to create a fine line of points. I screwed both of the brushes down on the inside of the tube so they brush against the belt at both the top and bottom ends. I walked over to the kitchen and stole this metal cake pan to use as the top load capacitor. This goes on top of the Van der Graaff generator and is hooked up to the wire from the top brush, the one that's next to the stationary electrode. I hooked up this electric drill to the bottom roller so it will spin. 
The bottom brush is connected to the third hole in the wall socket, which is just connected to the ground and not electrified. Now our Van der Graaff generator is ready. Are you ready? We're back from the dead.